It's the first day of model prep. It's super exciting. I'm with my whole team. We all have to drive like different cars because we have like eight people with us. We have the whole day to prep models. Well, people have no idea how much work this takes because we do have a giant stage. The stage is enormous. I am excited to be back because it's been three years since I've done a show. In 2019, I did one in Norway, but now this is like the official huge Gai Tang world tour coming back after three years of hiatus. We are being warm color activists. We're showing people like, look, I know we're known for silver hair, rose gold hair, lavender hair, but you know what? We also have amazing warm colors like naked glow and copper. So we want to showcase that with the Phoenix Fire and Superpower. We're showing people at Vietnam that warm color is beautiful. You are now tuned into the sound of God Tang. Like What's going on here? I know. It was like, oh my god, it's oh What the hell is going on? Do you see that? It's a lot. We are here at the salon and we have hair besties everywhere. Oh my gosh. Hi guys! Hi, Oh my god! Thank you! Okay, you guys made it go. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's emotional. <laughs> Okay, I had a rough year this year, so. Did you see that, Ariana? I'm like, I've got emotional. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. You know, it's a rough year. You know that for me. It's been hard. It's so. You, you know, I know we have. It feels good, right? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. I have some uh, questions for you. You do? Okay, okay. Now they fix my face. <laughs> okay. Do I put these flowers down? Yeah. Okay. I put the flowers down here. Hold on. Can you hear it? Yeah. Oh, God. The taxi driver took off with their luggage. I know. I need to get myself together. <laughs> Okay, get yeah, open this for me. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm trying to be pretty. <laughs> that was crazy. I was like, wait, what's happening here? That was, that was so crazy. We drove by like, what's happening here? I, know, I was like, yeah. I was like oh, what's going on over here? <laughs> Do you see the amazing hair besties? Oh my God, I love it. We were just, I was in the I was in there with Liz and I said how important it was that this was this is special to you. It's so special. Because okay, I'm not gonna make you cry. You're gonna make me cry. Again. Okay, no, no, no. Um, well, it's special because yeah, for so many reasons. Because yeah. I'm Vietnamese. Yeah, because you're Vietnamese. It's yeah. Very yeah. Um, yeah. Yvonne. Now I'm gonna start Yvonne. crying again. <laughs> okay, sorry. I think for, I dropped something. Again. <laughs> How am I gonna function today? I was supposed to prep <laughs> models. <laughs> so this is something I didn't expect. So thanks, Kim. <laughs> okay, well I love Vietnam a lot. <laughs> I'm really happy. Thank you. <laughs> we love it.
we're showing them something that they usually may not be used to, which is the face framing. Because you notice that no one has, no one has, face, no one has yeah. face framing. So this is actually something we're introducing. Yeah. Is this one virgin? Four years ago. Four years ago? Okay, perfect. So she'll be half Shao Ash, I'll color half of her head for the show. So let her know that, that she'll be half colored till we go to Hanoi. So there's a comparison between one side and the next. This one's 5 BB, so half head. So I was in here, so what model is she? She's the superpower. Superpowers, okay. okay. Yeah, so okay. we're probably gonna turn her violet sorcery with pink possession. We have to change the lighting because okay. the warm lighting is distracting the eye and we can't tell what we're working with. So we're gonna keep all the white lighting so we can see what we're working with. Cause it kind of hurts my eyes. Does it hurt yeah, your yeah, eyes too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's too bright. And then once too... they lift, we can't. Well, this hair is black. This is like level one. Yeah, this is gonna take the longest. This is gonna take a lot of work. Okay, it's we're up for the challenge. This is our first model. She has virgin hair and her hair is all black. This is like level one black hair, maybe one and a half. This is gonna be a very interesting lifting process because lifting dark hair light can be scary. <laughs> and this is a lot of hair, but I'm excited to see what happens. And we're gonna use Lift Me Up because our goal is to get violet sorcery and pink possession. So we're not trying to take the hair platinum blonde or anything. So as long as it lifts to a nice warm color, that's the perfect canvas for us. So our model here, she's also gonna be a superpower. We're gonna do Phoenix Fire on her, which is gonna be the warmer shades of color. This is gonna be super exciting. This is an exciting one because we're gonna do Shadow Ash, which is the color I have in my hair right now. <laughs> so we're gonna do only half of her head because I wanna show everyone on stage how the color looks like before and how the color looks like after, which is very important because a lot of people don't know that ash can be very beautiful and look natural to get natural results on the hair. So to show it side by side is gonna be such an amazing amazing impact on stage to show what you can get using the Shadow Ash series because it lasts such a long time and it works great on Asian hair types that usually has a lot of red tones and you want to neutralize them to create such a beautiful natural looking brown. And you can see that all her hair is virgin. So we're working with dark virgin hair that is almost like level one down to maybe two, but her hair is very, very dark. So she's going to be the perfect candidate for Shadow Ash on stage. All right, this model is going to be Midnight Fantasy 5. We're going to do lift me up on her hair to give her some highlights and then we're gonna glaze her down with our permanent color midnight fancy to give her a very nice violet rose tone that is gonna be spell binding this model will represent the brown beige series the 5bb abb we do want to show people that the brown series look very chocolatey and warm and really represent that it can lift dark hair and still have that warmth but it's a cool warmth to where you're not gonna see a lot of that unwanted tones on darker levels it's gonna be gorgeous Gorgeous, and people's gonna want that cool chocolate brown, especially all season round. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's go. Come on. We have our model here that we're gonna lift her hair because it's really dark. We're gonna do global lifting and we're gonna use Lift Me Up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is 14 grams of rose. You're gonna measure just like that. And I like to measure as I go. So 14 grams. And because we are gonna do superpower by the sorcery and pink possession, lifting her hair with rose is. Perfect. And then now we're doing the oil booster. I'm gonna do 40 grams of 40 volume. Now 40 volume seems a lot, but take a look at how dark her hair is and we're doing it off scalp. Always measure the scale here. 40 grams, look at that, that is perfect. And then we're gonna do magnum eight. So we're gonna do 20 grams, okay, here we go. You see how darker? hair is? Yeah, I see how darker hair is. We're just gonna do just a sprinkle because we don't want to hinder anything. All right, so look at the color in the ball. We're gonna mix this right on up. This is the lift me up. Rose. Getting the hand condoms, gotta protect the hands. So we are gonna paint on the foil first. We have a nice, easy way to penetrate her hair. So I like to paint on the foil like so. So the first one, I'm just gonna back comb it. We're gonna put this right on in, just like that. The cool thing about Lift Me Up here is you see it goes straight up there and it penetrates right through without much effort. Go ahead and lay the foil on.
You guys know why I got emotional out there, Amanya? No, tell me why. I want to know. Well, first, being Asian and Vietnamese coming to Vietnam for the first time is a lot. It's like it's something that identity-wise I struggle with growing up in Oklahoma. So to see the love from your own community, your own people, it's a lot. I remember my whole life I was trying to fit in to the Asian American community and they always cast me aside. I always felt outcast. And even this past couple years being on the reality show like Bling Empire, the cast members are so mean to me and I felt cast aside. I felt treated like crap. And so coming here was like the respect, the love reminds me of my purpose and my mission and the message that I stand for and that everything I worked so hard to represent my identity and my identity and to be confident in myself to be like, you know, it's real. Absolutely. Why do you think I'm part of this brand? Because it's beyond color. It's to lift and make everyone better. A box of color is a box of color. Yeah. It's the message and yeah. what it stands for. And that's why I learned this year never to doubt that gut feeling that you have and believing in yourself. Don't ever doubt your feeling because those feelings are there to protect you. Well, you know what's funny too? The message of lift me up is just that. It's that message of you have to lift yourself up sometimes and that you have to remember your self-worth. And it's not only that it lifts the hair up, but it also lifts you up. You know, I spent so much time trying to make myself uncomfortable so other people can be comfortable. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want to speak up when I can because for so long, I just kept quiet because I felt like if I say too much, then all of a sudden people will be like, oh, that's too much. Oh, that makes me uncomfortable. But then I'm making myself uncomfortable for others and it's not fair to me. I have to love myself. I have to respect myself, right? So on our amazing model that we have over here, we clip her hair to the side. We are going to do Phoenix Fire and Woo! Crimson Spell on her. We love warm colors. So we're going to use Bright to lift her up so we get the posit warm color because Sometimes when you only use bleach or lightener, what happens is you can overlift the hair and the hair turns too light and then it takes away the underlying pigment. You want the underlying pigment there to support it. So we're gonna use Bright so it can support that gold. So we're gonna do 14 grams of Bright Lift Me Up and then we're gonna do 40 volume. I mean, look at her hair, her hair is pretty dark. <laughs> so we're gonna do 40 volume. All right, I know it seems a lot, but it's gonna be all off scalp, okay? So we're not gonna do her to the rouge or anything like that. So 40 grams of 40 volume. We're going to do 20 grams of Magnemate. Right, Kim? Okay, yeah. go ahead, Kim. Sprinkle that on in. Sprinkle that Magnemate. Kim is a little size queen. I like everything big. Yes. <laughs> there you go. And look at our amazing crowd of hair besties watching us. Look at this. We have hair besties all around watching as I'm prepping models. You guys, look at this. What I love about Bright is that it lifts and preserves the warmth and health of the hair so that way we get to deposit the color we want without sacrificing overlifting. Okay, we're gonna back home her too, okay? So I love to do the air touch technique, but there's a time and place for that, right, Kim? Yes. What I love about the back home technique is I don't worry about slippage. Slippage can be a situation with the foils and you can have bleed marks on the scalp and that can turn into a color correction. So that's something you do not want. And you can still do air touch and back combing on the same head of hair. So always know that you don't have to stay with one technique throughout the whole entire head because that is a stereotype. Okay, so we're gonna do a back comb. Just one push is good. So we're gonna get the board here and then we paint on the board. You don't have to do this, but I paint on the board to ensure even penetration from both ends. <laughs> so apply on the mid to the ends and then feather your way up. into my drama music video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, so you have no idea how hot the salon is. It's hot, I'm not used to this. I'm an LA-nian, okay? I'm used to the LA weather. So like, I'm sweating like crazy and they're so sweet. They got like the fan behind me. Look at this. I promise, I, I know I said I'm not a diva and I really mean I'm not a diva, but they're treating me like a prince. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Gap Jai, we're taking him home. <laughs> okay, I'm never leaving Vietnam. I'm never leaving. I'm staying here. Kim, we've known each other for a long time. Yes. So, how did you discover me and how did it all start with you? Oh my god. It's a long story, but it's I think it's very um, sentimental. So, I actually 
never knew about you until Instagram started with Michelle Phan. Oh, I love Michelle Phan. Yeah, so one night you were doing your hair up until like 2 a.m. in the morning. Oh my God, yeah. And I'm like, who is this guy? And you know, to be honest, at that time, I wasn't very confident. I didn't know how to do any color. Wow. And I thought to myself, you know, there are not that many great Asian colorists out there, including myself, you know? So I was like, I have nobody to look up to until I found you on Instagram through Michelle Phan. And I was like, I have to follow him. And you are my inspiration. That's how I start learning about you. And whatever you use, I try to copy. I try to buy everything that you bought. So I want to do whatever that you did. Wow. Yes. You and then now you're a special list in color. Oh. You're such a great colorist, too. Because I learned it all from you. Kim, you're amazing. Thank you. That was very heartfelt. But you know what I love about you, Kim, is that you have the heart of gold. Like, your heart is so pure. It's so genuine. And it's hard for me, honestly, I'll be honest with you, it's hard for me to find friends sometimes, because sometimes I feel like I'm being used. I don't know who my real friends are, and people who are actually there for me. It's challenging, because I, I feel like I've always been taken advantage of for the last couple years, even from the people I know and love. So I start to become lonely. I I stopped hanging around with so many people because I've been betrayed so many times. But I always feel like you're the one I can always trust and I feel safe with you. You've to me. always been there for us. I mean, like you're not only an amazing educator, you're an amazing boss and of all, you're an amazing friend. Thank you. <laughs> a boss? You call me a boss. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? Yeah. Uh, yogurt. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like raisin and and what's this? Lavender. Yeah. Lavender the, tea. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my goodness! Sort of this is so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, you. We did this together, so we have to sip it together. Okay, ready? Ready. ready. Mm. Isn't that amazing? Mm, good. So refreshing. Refreshing. Oh my god. Okay, you. you okay. Your turn. This is sisterhood. <laughs> I was trying like, why don't we do something simple? And I was like, no, you came all the way to Vietnam. Yep. You better step it up mm -hmm. and do the most. Yes. You make sure that I'm not doing anything basic. Yep. We waited three years to come to Vietnam. Yeah. So it's like, give it all. So I was like, okay, we're gonna go balls deep. Right, Kim? forming her whole entire head. Thank you to my amazing team over here for helping me for this speedy process. <laughs> Thank you, team. Wow. Oh my gosh. Lift me up bright. Look at that. We took Asian hair level one to literally level 10. <laughs> but this is 10 gold. The gold is still there and we want to retain that because guess what? We're putting Phoenix Fire Crimson Spell on it so we don't really need to lift it to a level 12 or 11. We want to retain that warmth so the color can pop like popcorn baby. Look at this full head of foils. Can we talk about this? We did Lift Me Up with Rose 40 volume max lift max tone. So our goal here is to do the Violet Sorcery Magenta. Maybe we might do Magenta going to Pink Possession. I don't know depending how we feel, right? But let's see what's happening down here on one of our first foils. Okay, let's pull out here. Oh my gosh, look at this. All right, she was level one. You saw her, her hair was like black as night, jet black. Look at this, this is gorgeous. All right, so you know that when we rinse this out, it's not gonna look hot pink like that. It's gonna have a soft pink tone, but we want to lift her to leave a nice canvas. So when we apply the final color on top, it has something to stick to and the color looks even more more vibrant and lasts even longer. Are you guys impressed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> So we gotta let them process. The thing about Lift Me Up is you gotta trust the process. It could sit on 45 minutes and it'll be all done at the same time. Yes? So now we're gonna be off to the next models. These are our two hardest models and we accomplished that. Right, girls? Yes. Yes. High five. High five. High five. Good job, Ariana. Good job, Amanya. Good job, Kim. It's time to pull out finally on our model here. So we are gonna pull out all the foils and we're gonna rinse her. Pull out. Woo. Look at that. Whoa. 
<laughs> Everyone loves watching me pull out. <laughs> We're gonna do our first pull out here. All right. Whoa. This color is gorgeous. We're gonna go over this with Phoenix Fire and Crimson Spell, so that is the perfect lift. Look how even this lift is. Ooh, look at that lift. Here we go. Yay. <laughs> lift me up. One step, lift and tone. Welcome with the headache. Fell out of my bed. Gone and twist my ankle. Now I'm seeing red. Yeah, the struggle is real. Don't know what's the damn deal. All right, so we're back with the Lift Me Up Bright model, and you can see here we lifted her to like that nice gold color. So that way we could put Crimson Spell and Phoenix Fire over her. This is what's really cool about Lift Me Up, is that the hair still feels so healthy and strong, and we lifted her to the perfect underlying pigment so the superpowers can pop, but don't overlift the hair. And that's the cool thing about Lift Me Up, because that oil ensures that the hair stays where it needs to be, so the final color lays over the top, and it looks like the most beautiful, healthy superpower color you're ever gonna see. So we lifted her hair with Lift Me Up Rose with the 40 Max Lift Max Tone from a level one to this. This is pretty amazing. We were in a very air conditioned environment up here, but you can see where her ends really pop here. So this is the perfect canvas for us to apply our superpower color, Violet Sorcery, through here and then through the ends we're going to do the pink possession so this is the perfect canvas for us to get that super power direct dye to look very natural because a lot of her natural hair comes through as a low light creating an ombre so it's going to look seamless so this is how you create that balayage look with a super power direct dye so it looks believable so let's get started let's go all right here's her model she is lifted with lift me up her hair is still so healthy and strong and you can see that it lifted up to the color we wanted to lift it up to, preserving that underlying pigment, right, Ariana? So the key color here is Phoenix Fire. Phoenix Fire is my favorite color, as you can see. We're wearing the shirt. We squeeze Phoenix Fire out into each bowl. We want this to be the dominant color. Okay, so now we're gonna introduce Crimson Spell. Everyone loves Crimson Spell. It's the most beautiful red color you'll ever experience in a direct dye. It's the most concentrated red dye that exists on this planet, okay? And a little bit goes a long ways. You'll be surprised how potent Crimson Spell is. And as I mix, look at that depth of Crimson Spell. It took the color to another level of red. Look at the contrast between the two red. So the Routage formula, I'm gonna introduce Night Warrior to it. So we're seeing a lot of fiery warm shades popping back up more than ever. So we are embracing it here in Vietnam. So our Night Warrior is our new Superpower Direct dye, as deep it's a pure black tone. It will charcoalize any tone you need to charcoalize. It will deepen any tone. That black is here. And keep in mind, this is very pigmented. A little bit goes a long ways, so you don't need too, too much. Now watch as I introduce that Night Warrior into that formula. You can see it starts to become like black cherry. Now, I have three formulas. See, the black cherry, the red, and then the Phoenix Fire Orange. Three color combination isn't supposed to be seen like, hello, one, two, three. It's supposed to look seamless. It creates a shadow and blend down to the brightness. So it looks like one color that's dimensional versus going one, two, three. The purpose is to make it look like a balayage. So it looks natural. So when I hold these three color up, you're not seeing three completely different tones. You're seeing the tones married together. I'm applying that straight onto her hair. As you can see, she has a lot of her natural hair right out here. And it's not gonna affect her natural hair because it's a direct dye. This is the shadow root formula to help everything blend together. This is very important knowing that your canvas that you lift the hair to is gonna be the desired canvas that you need to apply the final color result. A lot of times we end up forgetting that and we overlift the hair because for the longest time every time we think about bleaching or lifting the hair we're just thinking about overlifting and you need to leave that underlying pigment in and also beautiful color will always start with healthy hair so looking at the bowl here you're seeing three contrasts of red from that black cherry to that fiery red to that beautiful orange but watch as I apply it on the hair how 
how everything just kind of marries together. You're not seeing the three different contrasts in color, but the subtle nuances in the tones that really help the color reflect and create dimension that looks seamless. And this is what I'm talking about is making direct dye color where your everyday client that wants to have fun with the hair but might not want to go over the top. I'm leaving the tips out here because the tips is going to be the one with the Phoenix Fire. The Phoenix Fire isn't there to be all over the place. It's mainly to be the, the accent highlight tone. It's going to be what you're going to see mainly on her ends and around her face frame. Sometimes less is more with the Phoenix Fire because Phoenix Fire is orange. Anything that's warmer will always stand out more. Like that, so it blends seamlessly. Okay, we're getting close around the face here. So I want some of the Phoenix Fire to really hug her face. So I'm gonna leave some of the ends out just like that. And don't be afraid to just overlay on top. Look how beautiful this color looks processing on the hair right now. Now we've got the Phoenix Fire on my brush. So look at the ends right here. This is where you wanna put that Phoenix Fire in right on the tip. You can see that's nice and orange. And I like to put on the tips first, right? Before I cross contaminate. Cause I want that purity in the tone right on the ends. And then now I'm I'm gonna introduce it into that transition area and merge the color together. See that? And now you can see that fiery color, that cherry red going into that Phoenix fire. Look at that. And the color sinks right into the hair. So now introducing that warm Phoenix fire orange. It's gonna look beautiful. And that's that. We're gonna do this throughout her whole head. Let it process for 20 minutes. So we're gonna use Violet Sorcery. So this is gonna be the mid shaft forma, which is gonna be pure Violet Sorcery. I'm also gonna squeeze two tubes. If you see how much hair she has in person, you understand. Okay, so in our first Violet Sorcery formula, I am gonna introduce the Night Warrior. So Night Warrior is our black direct dye, and this is serious business. It's the purest form of black dye and it gives depth and shadow. Because you can see here, this is her natural hair up here in the retouche, but we still want to merge it so it blends seamlessly, so you see no demarcation at all. This is so well done, but still, you still want to blur it. So we're going to put a little bit of black in this. Now, a little bit goes a long way, so you don't have to use too much. Here's the black with the Violet Sorcery. Go ahead and stir that in together. Obviously the Violet Sorcery is very, very deep as is, but this is going to take it one step further to create more depth. The Pink Possession! I love Pink Possession. This is that candy apple pink. It looks reddish, it looks pinkish. It's that in-between tone that I love because I love candy, okay? So I'm not so much using this for it to pop on its own. I want it to marry in with the Violet. So it looks like raspberry, blueberry, you know? So we're all about our berries today. Right, Ariana? Yes. Do you like berries. raspberries? I love raspberries. Do you like blueberries? Yes. Okay, then we're here for it. All right, Pink Possession. <laughs> we love Pink Possession. Okay, we're gonna marry this together. So take a look at it in the bowl. You can see how Pink Possession next to Bio Sorcery is gonna create a nice contrast. I'm gonna marry it together. Okay, so our first formula, we're gonna put on her routage right away. All right, so formula one, we're gonna put right on her routage. So this one has the black Night Warrior in it. I'm gonna drag this down a little bit lower. So you see me kind of feather this right on down so it can merge her natural black hair into the highlight. So I wanna create like a V pattern. So with this model here, half of her head, I'm gonna leave virgin and then we're gonna color this half. I'm gonna show everyone on stage what the hair looks like before and after because we're living in a world where a lot of people just feel like we can only highlight someone's hair. I wanna show people what lifting the base is about because everyone needs to know that you can get natural looking brown hair without having to bleach the hair. All right, so the first formula is 5BB is a beautiful brown beige color. It's one of my favorite colors for chocolate brown results. And you know I love brownies. So we're gonna do 20 volumes with this. Okay, I'm gonna do one full tube. It's always nice to see a good before and after side to side because we never get to see that. We always see like a full transformation. So having the ability to see half head is very impactful. So now we're gonna do 20 volume, equal parts. Okay, so that'll make 100 and 10 grams of color all together. Always use the Dedicate Developer if you can. So I'm gonna whisk that right on up. So it's one to one ratio with the Dedicate Developer. So with this formula, I am gonna add the Gaitan Collagen Powder, about a quarter scoop, because the hair is already healthy. There you go. 
We're gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to put in some Olaplex as well to this formula. This is the scalp, so anything to keep the scalp from feeling a little hot, that's my goal here. So I'll also take this opportunity to squeeze in dark shadows. Dark shadow is a low ammoniate permanent color that sits at level five that has a gray charcoal base to it. So it's oxidative, which gives it the ability to mix in with any of the permanent colors. So you get to smoke out any of the tones. So that's a good two grams of dark shadows. Two grams can do a lot. And now we're gonna apply this to her routage area. When you think of different zones, there's that routage, there's the mid shaft, there's the ends. The ends is the cold shaft. And then the routage, the scalp is fresh hair. So fresh hair tends to take a little bit more hotter, more brighter. It's a little bit more virginal. So so you have to think about formulating for that scalp area. So that's why I add dark shadows into that formula. And then on the mid shaft, you have to think about the energy you have to put into it. So if you're gonna do 20 volume on scalp, you have to change the developer through the mids. So it's gonna be 30 volume. Your application doesn't have to be a perfect one inch from the scalp. You can feather the color as well. You can see here, I'm feathering the color on that scalp so it looks natural. You don't have to just stop right here, stop right here. You can feather. Warm colors can be beautiful too, but what makes the BB series very unique is that it's warm, but it's control warmth because it has a cool warmth to it. It leans towards more of that mauve side of chocolate because the hair naturally pulls warm on its own. All right, so you can see the formula one is on the first routage zone area. Now I am gonna mix 5BB with 8BB with 30 volume. All right, so I'm gonna do a full tube of 5BB. And again, if I also do the full head, it'll be different. I just wanna show you the mixing ratio so you understand if you do full head, this is what you're gonna get. Again, 5BB with 8BB. This ensures that the mid shaft is gonna be lighter because remember the number five, six, seven, eight, it all indicates how much dye load is in the tube. So now that we got 55 grams of 5BB, I want to make enough that I can put on her mid shaft. So this is 8BB right now. We're using this to shear it out. So it's gonna be lighter. So I'm gonna make about 20 grams of 8BB added in. Now, the reason why this is important not to add too much 8BB is the more 8BB you add into it, you're gonna expose more underlying pigment because we're using 30 volume, that's gonna create the energy to lift that mid shaft. And what's gonna happen is if there's not enough dye load, a lot of orange will show through and it can appear a little bit too brassy. So now that we have 75 grams of color, you want 75 grams of 30 volume developer. We're gonna introduce a little bit of the collagen powder. Because her hair is healthy, we're only gonna use a quarter scoop, less is more, right in through there. Now, you could add some Olaplex into it. A drop is really all you need. Oop. There you go. All right, so remember Olaplex does have a pH of 3.5, so it's very acidic, so you don't want to put too much. Less is definitely more, because you still want the product to work and lift, so make sure you mix the color thoroughly. Okay, we're gonna apply this through the mid. So you can see the routage formula processing right in through there. So now you're gonna apply it through the mids, right? Ooh, what I love is the product just spreads easily. Look at that. And I'm gonna omit the ends, because the ends, I'm gonna introduce a little bit more of the 8BB, and if you want to channel the 40 volume in, you can, because that will help that ends pop more. And that way you can still stay with the same formula and not change the formula, but change the volume of the developer. All right, we're down to the ends here. So this is where we introduce the 40 volume with the 8BB and 5BB. We're gonna massage that right on end. This is gonna give it a little bit more energy there so the ends will pop. The worst is when the ends are dark because it looks like, oh, the hair looks porous and it over sucked in the color. If you wanna mimic nature, the ends should always be slightly lighter because nature would make the ends lighter. So always think about that. This is a very special model. We are gonna show off Shadow Ash series. And on this side, I'm gonna keep her natural hair. And on this side, we're gonna do Shadow Ash 5 on the routage, Shadow Ash 6 on the mid shaft, Shadow Ash 7 on the ends. And we're gonna do 20, 30, 40. And this is the way you level it, so that way there is no hot roots. It's more work, but the color looks more even. And this is how I get my hair. So I lift my hair with Shadow Ash. Everyone always thinks this is my natural hair color. It's like, ooh, I love your brown hair. They think I was born with it. I was like, no, I color it. And over time, like let's say, I put heat styling products on it, I refresh it with Wicked Shadows, which is our green. So it's really easy to refresh with our Dimmy Permanent. And the color lasts longer than any permanent color of ash that's out there. So you can see right here, this is five, six, seven. The most beautiful ash you've ever experienced 
this is a gray blue base. So it's the coolest tone that has the most longevity. So your clients with naturally darker hair like this one and myself can have that beautiful smoky brown of their dreams. Okay, so what do we know about dark hair folks, like myself, level one, two, three, four. Okay, natural dark hair exposes warmth. So even though we're using ash on her hair, it's not gonna look like ash brown because ash mixed with the underlying pigment, which has red in it as it exposed when ammonia touches it. So you're gonna get the warmth with the ash comes together and you get neutral. You're gonna get the most neutral brown, but in my world, her world, our world, as naturally dark headed people, is the ashiest you can get with a one-step permanent color process. All right, so I just did a full tube of Shell Ash 5 on her routage. I'm gonna do 20 volume, equal parts. So now we're gonna whiskey that right on up. We're gonna introduce the collagen powder. All right, so you can add in Olaplex as well. I love adding Olaplex into the formula because it always, what I find is that it protects the hair, but not only that, but it avoids the hot root look for me when I use it because it controls that pH, so it keeps it at bay to where I know that I get control and protection at the same time. Oh, oh, oh. I almost died, did you see that? I was a little dramatic. Okay, so this is the half head application. We're gonna keep this virgin so you get to see the contrast after. I love doing this because this is a method that I have not done at a hair show because I've always just did the whole head, but I find that this is gonna be the most learning experience for all of us to really see the visual of the before and after. So with ash colors, I always say refresh it with Wicked Shadow 7, which is a green gray base color. That's what I refresh my hair with. Wicked Shadow is gonna be your friend. There's the 20 volume application. I'm gonna mix the second formula, which will be Shadow Ash 6 with 30 volume on the mid shaft. No. You know, why we gotta play this? Why? I really don't understand the different way for me to say it. I, I really don't understand the reason that we going through it. No. I'm not cause I don't. If I did, I would do it. Why? Do it. We always had the same conversation with the same limitations and the same connotations. Y'all I mean, I'm tired of the same situations with the same old blah, blah, blah stipulations. No. Hey, longer will I take the time to explain? But it's unexplainable to somebody who won't at least follow their pride Just to learn a thing or two Well, it's over, the topic is no longer up for discussion And that's how the game goes They can question and question and question and question and question I give them the same no My eyes are getting really tired yeah. It's a situation I need my energy up Okay, and dinner, I, I need to eat, that's true What are your thoughts on doing Thai tonight? Oh, I love Thai Oh, perfect We're gonna do the one by the hotel Okay And then tomorrow night, they're gonna treat you and take you out to like whatever type of food you tomorrow want Tomorrow night or tonight? Yeah, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, okay. We rest. Okay, we I, eat and I'm rest. so exhausted. I can tell. But it, it's a good, you worked your butt off. Yeah. Right here, here. Oh my God, I mean, they have a lot of hair. Yeah, it's a lot. You always take on a lot though, do you not? Yeah, yeah. normally I would just keep going. All right, the end of the night, let's go eat. About that time, say what's on my mind. Say, say what's on my mind. Yeah, yeah, and tell her no means no. Tell no. me what you mean, mean what you say. Say no.